video, we're going to talk about some of the tools your students will have access to when they are asked to complete their virtual worksheet. So to see these tools, we're going to click on View and Preview. And TeacherMade.com did a great job, in my humble opinion, of giving us a tool that we can not only get to learn the student interface, but also use to help coach the students. So I know for a fact that this um, preview mode is going to help me go through the lesson ahead of time with my students to make sure they have all the skills they need. So the first thing your students are going to need to know how to do is scroll, two finger drag on a Chromebook, the scroll bar or a scroll wheel on a mouse, okay? Also remind them that they can zoom in, hitting plus, zoom out. And the zoom out is really helpful when you're doing things like a matching page where you want to see the entire page on one screen. So here, well, it looks like I need to, yep, I need to type right on the line. So I like the layout of this. I think it's pretty clear. The students will look at that and know that they need to type their answer on the line and it's working. But down here, use each word in a sentence. I'm clicking on these lines and you know what? The box is over here, but it's not very clear. So just as a pro tip, it's real easy to X out of the preview. You're already back in the edit screen. You're going to go down to where you wanna change. And I've already done these. What I wanna do is I want to block out those two lines. So I go to the eraser and I draw the block to erase those lines. And now this, it looks invisible without a border. So I'm going to click one time and I'm going to click the pencil to change the border. Now I can also change the font that it appears when the students type, the size and the color. So this again is all on the teacher's dashboard for making this. This is that creation station we talked about. I wanna make it more obvious where their answer goes. So now I go back to view, preview, and now let's take a peek. Um, here we go. Lines. Oh, so much better. So much better. So now I scroll down. Now, matching. When your students go to match, they'll notice that when they point to something that needs to be matched, a crayon appears. They need to be able to click, drag, and drop. Now, if they make a mistake, they can hit undo, or they can simply choose to redo it and it will correct it for them, okay? So of course, I'm picking some wrong ones. Um, that's okay. If I choose to draw the line over here, you'll notice that the line disappears. There's nothing over there. So this does a really great job. Um, if I try to double an answer, the line disappears for the last one. So Great tool. You will have to make sure that your students practice with it. Uh, I feel like it's really intuitive and I always feel like the kids work so much better with these online tools than some of us do. So don't be afraid to um, don't be afraid to tinker with this. And I noticed another mistake I made. They can actually attach to this one even though it's already been picked. So I think I will go back and delete that box. So it's good to go back and edit things. Now here, I'm very happy with this. It's clear that they have to type two words. The boxes work. They're two different colors. I'm happy with that. Now the word search. This was what I wanted to show off some of these other tools with. So the idea here, I thought, was wow, they could take a circle and they could draw a circle around words, and they absolutely can do that. The problem comes when there's no rotation on this. So they can draw it, but it's only going to have to be an X or a Y, vertical or horizontal, um, circle or square. So ideally, what you want them to use is either draw a line, 
where they're going to click, drag, and drop the line, or the free hand. Okay, and the free hand, of course, just like it sounds, will allow them to circle or draw their own line by hand. And just like in the other examples, if your students click on what they've done, they can trash it, okay? They can move it around, very intuitive. The kids are going to love it. They can change the line color. There's a lot that the students will always be brave enough to try that some of us are not as brave to try. Multiple choice, just so you can see, my four choices are there and I can click on one and I can only click on one. So you're going to notice with multiple choice, it only allows one answer. If I had put this in as a checkbox, multiple boxes could have checks in them. So that's the gist of what your students have to work with. And for more information, visit teachermade.com. They have really great videos and that's how I actually taught myself this. Wonderful tool. So that should get you going. Good luck and have fun.